my name is Saskia Hilton. I work at the Augustus Medical Center in Northern Belt in the Netherlands. Hi, I'm Helena Rasha. I work with Saskia Hilton at the Augustus Medical Center in Rotterdam in the Netherlands. I also work at Ons Hoger School in Breda. Today we'll give you an update about uh, recent developments in the Galaxy Training Network, or GTN. So, Galaxy Training Network updates from a remote year. We work on the GTN uh, a lot, Elena and I, together with the Dele Mistoji from Freiburg University. So, last time we had this talk was in 2019 at GCC, uh, and a lot has happened since then. Obviously, the pandemic has changed all of our lives uh, a lot. Uh, we've been in this situation for more than a year now, and obviously, um, we can't have any more in-person events for a long time, most of us. Um, and it's also very different to work. Time has gone all timey-wimey. This has been the longest month of March uh, in history. But it's not been all bad. Uh, we have vaccines now. Hopefully, that's the light at the end of the tunnel. Personally, I've been enjoying, uh, enjoying all the uh, cats in the, the meetings. Uh, but on the GTN side, we also have had a lot of cool updates, which we'll talk to you about today. And also, uh, we switched to remote training for Galaxy rather than in person events. So, for those of you who might be new uh, or have not used the GTN before, the GTN offers a collection of training materials around Galaxy. And these are all made by the community for the community. And you can find all of this on training.galaxyproject.org. These tutorials are made to be suitable for self-study. So everything you need is available on this page. They're often centered around scientific stories, often producing a scientific analysis that has been published. And here you see the top of every tutorial looks something like this. It has some overview information so that you can find out if this is the tutorial for you. So it shows you what questions are uh, addressed in this tutorial, your learning objectives, so uh, requirements, like what do you need to know before starting this, an estimate of the time it will take you, um, the difficulty, and supporting materials such as slides, data sets needed, workflows, and on which galaxies you can run. And at the end of each tutorial, um, you may also recommend some follow-up tutorials. So, some quick GTN stats for all of you. We have 213 tutorials. These are not just aimed at researchers, but also educators, developers, galaxy administrators, and absolutely everyone. And this is really reflected by the 21 topics that the GTN covers. This isn't just biology anymore. We now include tutorials on things like machine learning and climate and ecology analysis and geographic information systems. The GTN is really expanding into a lot of new directions. All of these tutorials, these 213 and counting tutorials, have been made by 187 contributors from across the entire planet. We're so proud of that. We have really a great community. It's growing fast. These numbers will probably all be outdated by the time this video actually airs. In the past year alone, there have been 75 Galaxy training events using the GTN. Uh, those are just the ones we know of. So if you are using the GTN, we would love to know about it so we can share it with everyone else and let people know about your awesome event. And all of our tutorials are fantastic. Thanks to our community. We're so proud of you. And these statistics, most importantly, for people are now collected on a single handy stats page. So training.galaxyproject.org slash stats. You can find all the information about um, recently updated tutorials, what topics are covered, how the community is growing, who's recently joined our community. It's really easy to get all of these statistics you need for overview slides. So, yeah. what are some new things in the GTN this past year? So the first thing is, the GTN now has a news feed. You no longer have to wait for these talks at GCC to find out what has all been added to the GTN. You can now keep up to date with this news feed. So on the home page, if you scroll down a little bit, you will see this table with the latest news, and then you can read the full story on the news page slash news. We also have two new community videos. These are also available from the GTN homepage. The first one I will introduce you to the GTN and what it's all about, and the second one um, will help you to find out how you can uh, become part of the Galaxy community in various ways. 
also new is themes. So under the extras menu, you'll now find a set of different themes to help make your training experience a little bit more you, including an Australia theme for our trainers down under. So, learning with GTM. We have lots of new tutorials in this past year, and here are just a few of them. Obviously, we have uh, lots of tutorials covering SARS-CoV-2 analysis. We also have a lot of new um, machine learning and deep learning tutorials. Um, I've definitely forgotten several here. Um, and we even recently have our first Spanish tutorial. And to find your way among all these tutorials, we've implemented the tutorial search. So at the top of the website, there's a search bar. And here you can enter um, the topic you're interested in or the tool you want to learn about or the type of data and it'll find you um, the tutorial for you across all topics. One of the fantastic new features that came out of the CoFest actually at last year's GCC was the GTN and Galaxy webhook. So this is a new feature where inside Galaxy you have direct access to the GTN training materials. It will let you easily see all the contents on a single page. So if you have a small monitor, if you're teaching people who only have a single monitor, this makes life a lot easier. It keeps your place in the tutorial. And best of all, as you can see on screen, you get to jump directly to the tool from the training materials. So especially for servers with large numbers of tools, having the ability to go directly to the correct tool, and not only the correct tool, but the correct version as well, is really absolutely invaluable. Also, we've added video slides. This is another fantastic new feature. So a lot of our slides throughout the GTN have really good speaker notes. And what we've done with that is we've taken those speaker notes, we have used AWS Polity to speak them, and then we've combined them into a video of the slides being spoken with all the speaker notes. And this has been really incredibly useful for speeding up the video production process in this remote training time now instead, okay, you've decided you need to switch around a slide or two or change an image on a slide. Instead of having to re-record the entire talk, you can just update your tutorial and it'll automatically be rendered for you. So the only thing you need to do to get this working is add speaker notes to your slides. The rest is magic by Helena. <laughs> so if you are uh, not just interested in learning with Galaxy, but if you're a teacher who wants to teach with Galaxy and the GTM materials, we also have features designed for you. So we have training infrastructure as a service, for example. So this is a service that provides dedicated resources for your workshop or training events, as well as a dashboard to monitor your student progress. You can apply on any of the big free servers. We all offer TIOS now. And if you're approved, you'll get this join link. You give this link out to your students and they're automatically put in this training queue. There's, it's very easy to set up and configure with your students. There's very little for you to have to do. And your students will get private resources for a dedicated job queue, it depends on the server. And this will let your training run a lot more smoothly. But best of all is the TIOS dashboard. This has been absolutely invaluable for training in remote training times. Um, you can see where students are in the tutorial. You can guess a little bit, okay, they're at, um, finishing up these tools or someone has an issue with this tool. You can figure out if you're losing anyone. So when you're really giving these remote trainings where you no longer can see your students face to face and see their screens, this has been really incredible to let us know, oh, okay, we can go on now because everyone's run fast QC or things like this. So something else that can help you out as a teacher? are the speaker notes. So like we said, all, most of the slides will have speaker notes. So these are used not to generate the videos, but also you can use them when you are preparing to um, give the presentation yourself. You can have these speaker notes on screen when you present. And these are uh, notes created by uh, all the different GTN um, contributors. The second thing we have, and it's a fairly new feature, are FAQs. So each tutorial now can come with a set of common questions and answers that different teachers have received. So if you are um, preparing to teach this, you can look through these um, to, to see what kind of questions you may, might expect and how to answer them. Now, this is very new, so most of these uh, still need to be filled in. 
Um, so if you would like to join in this effort, uh, we have a co-fest at the end of GCC uh, to, to fill in these FAQs. And the idea is that um, students uh, and instructors can access these FAQs at the overview um, box at the top of the tutorial. Another relatively new feature is the GTM archive. So we found that a lot of times we get requests for, oh, can I go back to the old version of the tutorial? Because someone updated it, and I'm teaching it tomorrow. So now we have the GTM archive. You can find this in the extras menu as well with the page statistics. And this will give you access to all of the old versions of the GTM. So and lastly, um, if you are uh, maybe teaching with Galaxy, but you want to also incorporate your own tutorials into the GTN, uh, we can also help you do that. We welcome any contributions. We have dedicated set of tutorials showing you how we can do this. Um, we have every three months an online collaboration fest where you can come to learn how to do this and we can support you if you are uh, adding your own tutorial. And we have a Gitter channel where you can come for support uh, to ask your questions about how to do this. Yeah, come join us. We'll help you out your tutorial. Okay, now you'll also get more credit for your tutorials. So we moved the uh, contributing authors up to the top of the tutorial so your names are front and center. As these are the people, the awesome contributors who helped make this tutorial possible. These uh, profiles also are linked to your GTM profile where we showcase all the different things you've done across the GTM. Whether it's administration or genome annotation or transcriptomics, you'll be able to see all of your contributions to the GTN in one place. This is really nice to link to your bosses and things like that to say, look at all the things I've done. Um, also, at the bottom of tutorials now, uh, they're easier than ever to cite. We have the tutorial citation in uh, plain text format and also a bib tech format that makes it easy to copy. So, whenever you either learn from a tutorial and want to give credit to the authors of that tutorial, you can easily cite them. Or whenever you've written a tutorial, it's easier than ever for people to cite you as their inspiration for their work. We've also got feedback. So that at the bottom of every tutorial is a feedback form, and this is collected publicly on GitHub, which has been really useful for our authors. All of the feedback is available, so whenever someone submits uh, feedback saying, oh, I, I struggled with this portion or I had questions about this, the tutorial authors can see that, address that, and update the training materials accordingly. Or maybe so, they just thought your tutorial was awesome and then you can also Yes, there's a lot of good feedback. So to see the feedback, here is the link to it. If you are curious to see how often people are using a tutorial that you wrote, uh, we now have page metrics um, available, also in the extras menu. And here you can see uh, the number of views over time, some other stats for your tutorial. Now, one other thing we wanted to uh, discuss today is remote training. So obviously with the pandemic, we can do our normal in-person events anymore, but we have switched to remote training. And this was fairly easy because all the Galaxy tutorials are already meant for self-study. So we tested this approach um, in a huge event, the GTN Smorgas board earlier this year. So the idea was that it would be completely asynchronous. So we pre-recorded all videos uh, and offered 24 seven support on Slack. This meant that participants could manage their own time completely. They could start whenever they wanted to, they could stop, they could take breaks uh, whenever they needed to. Um, and this was a huge success. So we had over 1200 registrations from 78 different countries. It was a five-day event, and we had 60 awesome GTN instructors available to help across all time zones. Uh, and because this was such a success, we want to make this now an annual event. Uh, and all the videos created here uh, remain available after the event, so you can still view them now. You can still use them in your own workshops if you want to teach with Galaxy and don't want to do all the uh, sessions yourself. Um, this is all publicly available. I know some of my co-teachers have started using these videos in place of their own just because they're so good. So we repeated this, um, this concept at the GCC training week last week here, um, and we just added more content. So we now also have an entire developer track, and we added lots more science sessions. And this format doesn't work just for, uh, for science, but it also works for Galaxy uh, administration training. 
Yeah, completely overhead training, and it worked perfectly there as well. Everyone was very happy with being able to manage their own time. So I think this is going to be a great format going forward, perhaps even here to stay. Yes. So in the future, in-person events will become possible again, but from our side, we think that we will keep doing these um, remote versions as well, because they are a lot more accessible to more people. You don't need to travel. It's cheaper. Um, it's better for the environment. So we plan to keep doing these at least once a year as well. Now, uh, quick sneak preview to uh, maybe the year ahead. So um, as a result of these remote trainings, we now have a big library of Galaxy training videos. And what we'd like to implement is some sort of shopping cart style course builder, where you can pick and choose from these um, available videos to build your own uh, event. And then after you make your, you create your own program, you will get everything from the website to the registration forums, the Slack space for support, uh, everything for your event. One of the very few downsides of all of this remote video training, however, has been the need to update tutorials. And so we're looking into a couple of different options for how we can maybe automate the entirety of the video recording process. So give them a tutorial, record the video, and give me back the video file at the end. And this will make tutorials a lot easier to update and maintain all of these videos that we produce, and we'll be basing these perhaps on all of the content that everyone's produced for us so far, which is absolutely incredible. So whenever you need to update a tutorial, change number, change a tool version, all of this could just be automatic. And this will be fantastic for translated tutorials. So this is really more witchcraft by Elena coming up. I didn't write that. <laughs> um, so there is indeed the Spanish translation project uh, led by Wendy Bacon. This is very exciting. She's going to uh, look at um, translating these tutorials into Spanish and seeing whether manually translated um, tutorials are significantly better for students than the automatically translated ones. And I, for one, can't wait to, to see your results. Absolutely. And in addition to that, um, the rest of the community will also keep on making lots of new tutorials, um, hosting events, and we will try to make new features for the GTM. So if you have good ideas, like are there things you're missing, please let us know and we can try to include them in the GTM. And of course, all of this uh, couldn't be possible without our uh, Awesome contributors. We have 187 contributors right now. Um, they're all collected here in the Hall of Fame. And really big shout out to all of you um, for making this possible. Yeah, without you, it wouldn't be here. So thank you.